Hello everyone and welcome back to our How to Use OGS series. This is basically going to be how to play a game. And now in the last video we showed you how to pretty much get in the game pretty much immediately. But now we're going to show you how the game works. So first we're going to set it to a 9x9 so it's kind of a quick game. Then we're just going to click normal. And now we just simply find a game and play a normal game. So this is going to be a new uh, our, us, our new account versus Tom DeHeal. We are black since we have the black square. So we'll go ahead and play. So the way this works is we each take turns playing a move and you can see our time is up here. This is our main time right here. And this is our overtime. When we get to overtime, when our main time reaches zero, we will be using our overtime. We will have 30 seconds to make a move. If we make a move within that 30 seconds, then the time will reset and keep going and it'll keep uh, going back to 30 seconds. But if we go over 30 seconds, then we will use one of our periods and this will go down to four. If you use all five of your periods, then you will lose by time. And you don't want to do that because then all the effort you put in will be lost. So we each take turns playing. That is how the time works. And right down here, you can see the captures. Uh, it says no score yet. Don't worry about that. That, uh, in my opinion, doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really matter. Um, if I had points, then it would show me the points surrounded by one color and it also uh, give me an estimated score, but this doesn't quite work perfectly, so just worry about the captures, guys. That's the only thing you need to know. So what is this over here, 5.5? This is actually the Komi. This is the extra bonus points that, white's, uh, that white gets. Since black goes first, black has a slight advantage, so white gets this extra uh, bonus points, and you can see that that is five and a half in this game. So that's, if you want, that's where you go to if you wanna check the Komi. So we can continue to play our game. Uh, right here we have the undo button. So for example, if I played a misclick and I wanted to undo, I would simply click the undo button and when it would say undo requested. Now your opponent may not let you undo all the time. So if they don't, then you're just gonna have to move on and continue with the game. Uh, next we have the pass button. If we wanted to pass turn, we could do that with this button. And then right here is the resign button. If we wanted to just give up the game and resign, we could do that there. So let's go ahead and f uh, finish this game and I'll see you guys in just a second. We're gonna finish this game and then we will show you how to score it. All right guys, welcome back. We are almost done with this game. We are about to score the game. Uh, we just need to make a small living group in here so we have enough points. Uh, before we get to the scoring though, I wanted to go over a few more features that we see on the right. Uh, so the first thing we want to look at is Zen Mode. If I click Zen Mode, then we can go right here and make it full screen, and then nothing else is there to distract us. We don't have to see the chat. We can just play, um, and that is how you do Zen Mode. To get out of it, you can just click Escape, or you can click this little icon right here, and it will get out of Zen Mode. Uh, and that's pretty much Zen Mode. So the one thing that's important is you cannot see the clock in Zen Mode, so you uh, do need to make sure that you are listening quite well if you are going to be in Zen Mode. Uh, you, the, there is a voice chat that will talk when you get to overtime or when you're low on time. So you will want to listen for that in Zen mode. You can also adjust the sound here for the stones if you wanted to do that. Uh, and then you go down right here to toggle coordinates. If you wanted to toggle the coordinates and make the stones go to the edge of the board, you could do so right there. Usually I don't recommend this because then if uh, you want advice or something, then you want to have the coordinates. Uh, here, if you wanted uh, to have the board like this, you could also do it. These are good if you want to take screenshots and share them. You can do these types of things. Uh, and that is pretty much toggle coordinates. Uh, next is the game information. If you ever want to look at the rules of the game, like what rule set you're using, we are using Japanese rules. Uh, who's the creator, the game name, uh, black, white, the time that we played it, and all this information about the game is right there in game information. Uh, the next thing we want to look at is we can plan conditional moves. So this means if I, uh, if, oh, oops, <laughs> if we wanted to plan conditional moves, uh, we could say if our opponent plays, let's say right here, I'm going to play right here. Um, <laughs> I guess be very careful if you do it live. This is normally for correspondence games. If you wanted to play uh, conditional moves, uh, you do that for correspondence games. So if you are waiting for your opponent to uh, play a move, then you could simply uh, plan your moves in advance. And then if your opponent plays, 
then your moves will respawn automatically for them, and you don't actually have to worry about pl playing maybe a common Joseki in the corner. Uh, and taking a week to play this very simple Joseki, you could plan conditional moves, and then as soon as they play it, it'll play out immediately. And that's how playing conditional moves work. Pause game will pause the game, um, and uh, will pause the game timer. So that way, if you needed to pause the game to go like to the restroom real quick or pause the game for something like that, you can pause the game. Uh, but do do be warned that your opponent can very easily unpause the game at any time. And you also have a limited amount of pause games that you can use per game. So be very careful with that and use that wisely. And usually if you click pause game, you want to let your opponent know that, hey, I'm just going to the restroom real quick. Or, hey, my wife just walked in. I need to give her a kiss and then come back to the game or anything, right? Or maybe the cat knocked something over. If you need to pause the game, make sure you let your opponent know so that way they don't unpause it because they can do that. Uh, review this game. After the game is done, we can click review this game, and this will open up our game in a, another URL, uh, which will get, make a new room with our game, and then we can review it and use all the review tools. We can go over that in another video, but basically we can review our game and try to figure out where we went wrong. Uh, la the one of that is estimate score. If you want to know the score and who's winning, uh, you can click estimate score, and it kind of tries to give you an estimate of what, the, what it thinks the score is. As you can see, it's not perfectly accurate because it thinks this group is dead right here, but they are working to improve that, so that will be something in the future. Um, oh, it looks like it gives me different results if I click on it. <laughs> um, so that is something they might work on in the future. And then you just click back to game if you want to do that. Uh, so here I'm going to simply say the game is finished. Uh, so that way we can just count the score. So if you want to do that, we're just going to click pass. So we can go ahead and calculate the score and it'll be up to our opponent if they want to pass as well or they can keep playing. Um, yep, they do that. Okay, I'm just going to pass again. And if there's ever any issues, guys, you can actually go right over here and click call moderator and this will call a mod to your game and they can answer any questions or maybe uh, kick someone out. Um, all right, so now we're here, and now we're in the stone removal phase because my opponent has just passed. So what I want to do is click, unclick my stones because these are not dead, and then click on my opponent's stones. These are already marked because they are black, but these are blue, so these are considered Dame points. These are no one's points, but these are mine, so I want to make sure they're mine. So I will click on this white stone right here and make sure it's marked dead, and any of these blue squares that are actually my territory, I'm going to click them and turn them into black. Uh, and then we say thank you for the game. I cannot say that because my account is not activated yet, but uh, we can do that. And then we accept remove stones, or we can click auto score, or we can cancel and resume game. Those are the options that we have. So we're going to accept the result. And you can see I have accepted the result, and I'm just waiting for my opponent to accept the result as well. And up here you can see the points 23 points to 22 and a half. So it looks like we will win by half a point. But we do need to wait on him to confirm. Maybe he doesn't know how to. I don't know. Um, if you if you wanted to chat though, you could you normally say thank you for the game at the end of the game, and at the start of the game you would say hello, have fun, or have a good game, uh, and you could say that at the start and at the end you would say thank you for the game as he did. It's very polite to do, and I highly recommend it, and it'll create good friends with you in the future. So if they take a little bit too long to score, you can click this auto score button. Um, ooh, unfortunately, it doesn't. <laughs> maybe that doesn't work quite well. Um, but I'm going to accept remove stones and wait for him. And if he doesn't remove the stones, you can always call a moderator to uh, force the score if you need to as well. Uh, but that is something you can do. But maybe this guy doesn't know to accept the remove stones. But that's maybe he just needs to watch the tutorial. Uh, this tutorial, guys. Maybe he doesn't know that he needs to click the button. Um, if he doesn't know, we can cancel and resume the game, and then click pass. Click, click. We accept. Ah, see, I'm still learning how this works by you cannot remove. Ah, so yeah, he doesn't know how the score works either. 
Uh, basically, you have to remove the dead stones. Um, unfortunately, I haven't activated the email on this account, so I will call a moderator. Uh, need help with scoring. So this will be a good example of that. So we'll click OK and call the moderator. Uh, and they will come in and hopefully score this game for us. But you can see that he is still here. All you have to do is click this little button down here and you can see that he is um, he is still uh, in the room and waiting to uh, he, uh, get the score. So I'll click this. He doesn't know I can't talk. That's probably why he's waiting for a response. Upper right two without losing four captures, correct? Um... Just waiting for the moderator. All right, he did accept the score, so that was uh, done, and we win by half a point. Now, I would explain this to him, but unfortunately, I haven't activated the email on this account because my email is associated with my other account. Um, so now that we have done that, you can see if you need to see your notifications for. Um, the moderator uh, that is up here. So now that our game is scored, we can just click cancel. And that is done. So unfortunately, I can't explain this to him right now. So uh, hopefully someone will be able to explain it to him later. But otherwise, uh, that is it for today's video. That is how to play a game and score a game. We had a very interesting video since we had a little bit of trouble scoring, but that it happens. And that's what we do if we run into those issues. So I think that was a very good example of what you can do if you run into some issues because someone else doesn't know maybe how to score the game themselves or what you can do. Uh, so all you have to do is simply call the moderator if you need to and just wait a minute. Uh, or they maybe they'll accept and you can do that. But hopefully you guys found this video helpful and hopefully you are able to play your own games now. As always, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.